Hi all, hope you're all having a good day. Um, I'm just conscious I haven't posted for a little while any kind of Insta stories. Um, that's because I've been work at work for the last two days. Um, but I did get um, time to put a post on to say thank you to everybody um, for helping me reach my 400 followers on Instagram. Um, really great news, thank you. I'm really um, pleased about it. So thank you ever so much for all your comments, your likes, your messages it's just been really good and of course thank you for following me um you've really um you're making me really enjoy it i enjoy it anyway but the feedback i'm getting has just been amazing so thank you um i'm having a bit of a funny old day today um it's been a bit busy hello yes munchkin's eating her lunch at the moment hello are you sitting there i spent the whole morning going into all these different shops looking for a new coat for my eldest. Um, she's gone into her five to six clothes already. She's only four, she was four in July, but she's very tall for her age. Um, both myself and my husband are quite tall, so it's kind of inevitable that she would be. Um, her coat that she's wearing is already the next size up. I always buy that coat the next size up so they can wear thick jumpers underneath. But that's getting tight now. So she said to me today, oh, are you gonna buy me a new coat today, mummy? Um, and she specifically asked for a red one. Uh, hello, what are you doing, you cheeky baby? Yes. Um, and she specifically asked for a red one because that's her favourite colour and I've gone everywhere looking for a red coat. I can't find any, only boys' coats. And I thought, well, I can't, I'm not sure if people would know if it was a boys' coat or not, so I didn't buy her one. Um, so... I started off in Primark, um, which is usually quite good for kids' clothes, actually. I, I shop there quite a lot for T-shirts and bits and bobs. Yes, I do. Cheeky. Um, but they didn't have a big selection of coats. <gasps> what are you doing? What are you doing? Um, so I then left town. That was in like our, our, our largest town centre. Left there and went to a retail centre where there's a Matalan and a TK Maxx. Looked in both of them and there wasn't a big selection either. So I think I might have to look online um, for something because she does really need one now. It's getting quite tight. If she wears a school fleece underneath it, it's really quite tight to get on and zip up now. That's the bin then, yes. They're making lots of noise. Yeah. Um, so uh, my youngest fell asleep on the way home and I tried to put her down for a nap when I got in thinking that she might just carry on sleeping but she didn't go down for a nap so she's up at the moment having some lunch and i'm not sure now yeah you've got a mat mat yeah that's your chair um so i'm not sure whether to try and put her down again or whether to just let her stay up this afternoon now um so it's a dilemma a sleep dilemma any advice help me so I've been a bit busy since I've got home. I've made a roast red pepper dip, a hummus, roast red pepper hummus, and a cheese and chive dip. And I've just got my flour and everything ready for um, some wraps I'm gonna make. So I've got, oh, I've got my wholemeal and white flour in there, along with a pinch of salt and some baking powder. I've got my oil and water mix ready to go in. This is my red pepper hummus that I've made. So I've done it. So I've got oh, four little pots that I'm gonna freeze so that they're, we can take them out with us on picnics and things and a larger pot that we can share at home so that it will last us a little bit longer. <laughs> 